Welcome to Voices of the Heart. Today we are traveling through North Carolina's Piedmont to the small, vibrant community of Carborough, North Carolina, home of the Arts Center. An intimate venue, the Arts Center is perfect for tonight's guest, Flying Fish recording artist, the Shady Grove Band. We'll talk to these folks shortly, but right now, let's go inside. Please make welcome, Chapel Hill, oh, the Shady Grove Band. Smooth. In 1981, history major Jerry Brown and geology major Charles Petty decided to pool their talents and embark on a career in music. Together they co-founded the Shady Grove Band. Charles is a real musician. This is what he does. He doesn't really have a choice in the matter. Uh, I think he, he gets up and plays and sings and it's part of him. Charles is a, uh, he's a creative dynamo, I'd say. He's, uh, Probably one of the most creative people I know. Jerry Brown uh, reflects his father more than he realizes. He helps people do their best, you know, he inspires people to do their best. I don't think I'd probably ever get anything done I'm supposed to do on time if Jerry wasn't there to help say, well, this would be smart if we did this, you know. Breaking up big rocks on the chain gang Breaking rocks and serving my time Breaking up big rocks on the chain gang Cause I've been convicted of crime Hold a steady right there while I hit it Well I reckon that's gonna get it I've been working, I've been working Change. 
With the desire to be original and the ability to write, Jerry and Charles forged the Shady Grove Band's unique sound. At first we were avidly against sounding like anyone else or doing any tunes that anyone else was doing. It's really important to have your own sound. Female uh, bass players in the band has been a great influence on our sound. Lynn Davis was our first bass player. She brought in a very diverse musical background and helped come up with some great arrangements and vocals. Adele Shin, who's been with us since, has come from a more traditional background, helped keep our original sound, but also brought in new original tunes and uh, powerful vocals. Overall, it's just been great having women in the band. I think we have a unique bag of music. I mean, the music to me is one of the most earthiest, emotional, expressive forms of music on the planet. <clears throat> if I have a goal, it would be to write a really good song. Performing is a really fun thing, but the biggest thrill in my life is when I think I'm on the track of a song, and that can be Tuesday afternoon at the house, and I, I bet my heart rate is really fast, and I am probably just as excited as a third encore somewhere. After 17 years of touring and over 2,500 shows, the Shady Grove Band has produced quite a resume. With five albums to their credit, these Flying Fish recording artists have performed at nearly every major festival in the United States, including the Merle Watson Festival, Grass Valley Festival in California, and the Roots of America Festival at the Lincoln Center in New York City. They have toured Europe 12 times, performing throughout Switzerland, France, Germany, and Spain, and they are still going strong. Well, the highway runs to here and gone, all the wonders there to see. Lord, it seems it's been so long since I sat down by peaceful green.
this town, even this city, going to the country. Now you better get ready. Charles was my first guitar teacher. I don't know if you need to know that or not, but um, he was, he was, he gave me guitar lessons. That's where we first met here in Chapel Hill. Mm -hmm. Low the many years ago. Mm -hmm. I got thinking, gosh, you know, I'd, I'd rather be a musician, I think, and uh, see the world and do that kind of thing. He was seeing people uh, travel around and do gigs. In this case, Apple Chill Cloggers also working in the music store. He saw a lot of musicians coming into town, doing shows, going to the next town, all that. So he was thinking about that. I was thinking about geology and I just like to play music. So Jerry said, you know, we can, we can earn $50 a gig, he said. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, that meant yeah, I only had to work once a week. So, <laughs> you know, that sounded really good. I think that, you know, when we first started, we probably, we really talked about how to make a living doing it, which, uh, you know, the $50 thing is fun and all that. But we really sat down and figured out, tried to plot out how how much money we thought we could make doing gigs and how many gigs we'd have to do in order to make enough money to survive. We really took it as a business and as a serious profession instead of uh, just as a, a fun thing. We really just went out there and shotgunned it and, and spent a lot of time pounding the phones and uh, really kind of tried to keep track. Here comes our old-timey bluegrass new age arrangement of the center man. to 
the ocean, ocean was a ball and I ran to the ocean, ocean was a ball and I ran to the ocean, ocean was a ball and on that day, singing old sinner man, way on the run to old sinner man, way on the run to old sinner man. After three years of performing throughout the U.S. at clubs, concerts, and festivals, the Shady Grove Band discovered an entirely different audience. Did you help us sing, Should We Come Around the Mountain? Yeah! What's the difference between the school shows and the concerts? Pretty much the height. Yeah. Kids are usually... restriction. One is educational with an entertainment theme, and the other is entertainment being able to reach that many people, that many kids that otherwise would never get to see it, um, and hopefully turning them on to something that otherwise they wouldn't. That's uh, turned out to be one of the really cool aspects. The schools are hiring us as a cultural, as something to expose the kids to a new cultural art form. They see people up there living, breathing, smiling people who are doing something other than you know, the things that immediately leap to mind to, to make a living. They, they listen to a lot and they're smart and they react. And, and kids will react right up front without thinking about it, you know, and uh, it takes adults a long time to loosen up that far. What's the difference between a banjo player and a mutual fund? Well, eventually a mutual fund will mature and make money. <laughs> Banjo players in the Shady Grove Band, well that's a long story. We've had many banjo players. Um, I think it's got something to do with the tones that a banjo puts out. It actually softens has, the cortex. Is that it? Yeah. Metal picks, metal strings, metal uh, tone ring. Does, I mean, come on. Does something what to do the nerve expect? center or the... <laughs> I think count. there have been 12 tenures. And they say that you can throw a rock anywhere in North Carolina and hit a banjo player. And we suggest if that's possible, we encourage people to do that. Yes, we suggest that. Find a rock, that. throw one.
It's the king of the scene Cause it always burns clean Propane I don't like, I don't like, I don't like A butane Slider is off. The house slider is off. 